Hi, welcome back to Teaspoons of Flavor, and today we're going to be making my marinated orange steak bites. And so, the first step you're going to be needing is you're going to need to gather the ingredients to actually begin the marinade, because this is going to be a process that happens uh, over a couple of hours and can even extend to overnight. And so, the ingredients you're going to be needing is three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of honey, as well as coconut aminos, one teaspoon of rosemary, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of turmeric, of garlic powder, as well as a teaspoon, a uh, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, a couple of cracks of black pepper, and two pinches of salt. And for the amount of steak, today I'm just doing a small marinade and I'm doing 350 to 400 grams of steak. This is 385 grams of steak. And in this marinade is the juice of one orange and one lime. And so this is the consistency that it should have, kind of like that. And so in this bag is where we're gonna be putting the steak in to marinate. And then you're just gonna pour in the mixture. Then what we're gonna be doing is you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's pretty tight. You don't want much air in there at almost at all. Squeeze out all the air. And then you're gonna to wanna to smush it all around. Make sure every single bit of steak that's in there gets coated in that marinade. And so you're gonna to wanna to put this marinade in the fridge for I would say six hours to, you can even do it overnight, uh, 24 hours. And so we'll see you then. Alrighty, so we're back with the beef recipe. And so it has been marinating overnight. And so we're in the morning now. And so right here, I have a cast iron that's been preheating fairly uh, hot. It's on like a seven right now. And it has some olive oil in it. And so now we're gonna be cooking the steak. So I have some tongs here, and I'm just gonna be taking the tongs out of the marinade, or taking the beef out of the marinade. And you can also use the leftover marinade to make like a sauce in a pepper pan. Alrighty, so now we're just gonna let these things sear on each side for I would say maybe a minute and so we'll be right back. So we've been letting them sear for about a minute on each side so now we're just gonna be flipping each cube. You don't want to burn but you sure want to get a good sear on each of them. So they've been cooking on the other side for about a minute now, and it looks like they got a good sear already, so I'm gonna be taking them out of the pan. Get this thing right here. It doesn't take very long to cook them, they're just one inch cube. Alrighty, so this is a really simple uh, meal to prep ahead of time. While the actual time does take a while, the cooking time is very short. So I would recommend just like the day before, you know, you have like a busy day or something. Um, you just prepare this ahead and it's super easy to cook on hand and it tastes delicious. This is the food and I hope you enjoy.